Ready, set, welcome to Perils of Adventure. And I'm your host, AZ. Ready, set, welcome everybody. We are back with another Cult of the Lamb episode today. And the last time we left off, we had so much to do. Uh, we were trying to get some object of immense power. Or at least that's what it looked like. We actually have no idea if it's immensely powerful or not. But we have to go catch ourselves a squid. Uh, there's tons of farming to do. Oh, there's just so much to do in this game. Yeah, and there's also fighting and combat. This is this is like a insane Stardew Valley. That's kind of the vibe I'm getting from this, is crazy Stardew Valley. I mean, I'm loving it. I'm definitely loving this game. I, uh, I want to keep playing all day long, which is good. Definitely good. I don't know why I waited so long to play it. But... All right, come on. Because I don't know if they can farm for us. I'm unsure. I know they can plant. Probably gonna get some more seed boxes here. Get all this sweet, tasty devotion. Yes. Pray to me, for I am your God. All right. But let's see if we can catch that squid. Because last time we were here, we ran out of fish. Oh, is there fishies? There is. There's only a few. But we need a squid. Is this whatever that unlocks. I mean, it's got its own, like, splash screen. So it's got to be good. Oh my, come on. Are you a squid? No, you're an octopus. So close. Come on. Come on, fishy, fishy, fishy. Uh, be a squid. Oh, more fish just keep spawning. All right, tuna. Don't need any tuna. Squid? Squiddy squid squid. Oh, we have so many fish, but they're not the right ones. Really? Come on. Nope. Meant to throw that farther. Gonna be fishing all day. Yeah, this game's got a lot to offer. I mean, it's got a fishing mini game. I mean, that's triple A tier right there. Oh, swordfish, come on. Why are none of these squids? I want whatever crazy object it was showing me. Squid? Yes, there we go. Perfect. Ah, the elusive squid. It was elusive. Here, take this. Caught it maybe 50 years ago. No use to me. Yes, give me all the dark power. Yes, whatever this is. Yes. You have found all four pieces of a holy talisman. Talismans are mystical relics that the Red Crown can use to unlock new fleeces. <laughs> new fleeces? All right. Unlock and equip fleeces from the altar in your temple. Not bad, not bad at all. You're a pro with the pole. You've stocked me up nice and good. If you find the fishing scarce, I'll sell them. And now he just sells stuff? Okay. 
Oh, yeah, we're probably going to use that for recipes. Um, let's see. Do I have enough wood? I do not. Gonna get 15 wood here real quick. I want to see what lighting the lighthouse does. And that's all we needed. Gasp, our prayers have been answered. Thank you, O oh Bright One, for sending this lamb to save us. Now the pilgrims will return to our shores. While restoring the light, we pre let pledge ourselves to you. We are not, we are your unworthy servants, mighty lamb. Jeez. We will pray to you in your great light on this shrine. Please bathe in our adoration. Oh, extra devotion. Divine inspiration unlocked. All right, that's worth it. It's an extra place. Gain devotion. Peer into the darkness. What? A little lamb, all alone. Careful. You never know what lurks in the night. And yet I smell no fear on you. How curious. Ah, I see. You wear the red crown. I know your predecessor. He was a weak and cowering thing. Not like you, I should think. Little lamb, you've made a deal before. How about another? Fear not. I won't ask for anything as valuable as your eternal servitude. I'm hungry. Starving. Ravenous. I want a fish. A big fish. And I will ex give you something in return. Do you accept? Yeah, I've got tons of fish. You want a big fish? Uh, tuna. Have a tuna. Clever creature. Take this and look away, won't you? I'm afraid I'm a bit of a messy eater. You will not see me here again, but our paths will cross elsewhere in moments of chance in the cover of night. Oh, sweet. Another piece. So now I'm curious where we'll see him again. Oh, what what, what is all this? Pilgrim, oh great leader in light, what do you know about tarot cards? I cannot use them myself, but I find them often when walking by the sea. Even though they are half drowned or buried in sand, they do not tear or warp. Isn't that odd? Some say the cards reveal fate. I say the cards are 25 gold each. <laughs> Interested? Uh, nature's boon, harvest bonus resources. Fire projectile when you swing your weapon. Uh, I definitely like that. 20% more damage during the day. Ooh. All right. I don't have any money. And what is this? I had a lover once who went to sea and never came back. They used to lay flowers by my door. Flowers suit the young and beautiful best. There's no place with me. Please buy them. They bring only sadness now. Oh, and these are decorations? Yeah. No. Oh. All right. We ain't got no money. Ain't got no money at all. We pledge ourselves to you, old lamb of the light. Yeah, because I'm the best. I am the best. All right, so we need to see what kind of fleece we got. Oh. Oh, we probably need to cook, too. Harvest, harvest, harvest. You know what? I can worry about that later. Yeah, we got divine inspiration. Oh. Since we're doing all this farming, we'll go ahead and get to Scarecrow. takes a whole bunch of money and wood and we are a little poor right now and it's time to see what this fleece can do for us oh and hold another sermon because we were fishing for a little while
Oh, so close. Let's see. All right, Fleece. Noble Guard, fit for Leader of Cult, provides no bonuses. Golden Fleece, damage dealt, increases after each kill, but resets when hit. Take double damage. Ooh. Uh, curses deal double, double damage and cost half the fervor, but melee weapons damage and health are halved. Ooh, I don't like that. Fleece of the Diseased Heart. Gain a Diseased Heart every time a tarot card is drawn, but 100% of items will be lost if killed. Ooh. Okay. Draw four tarot cards at the start of a run, but none can be drawn after. These are all terrible. All hearts will be replaced by one-fifth the amount of blue hearts. Oh, they're gone forever. I don't like any of these. These are all terrible. Um, I thought these were going to be cool. Uh, I think the Fleece of Fates. We'll try it, I guess. Mm -hmm. And we need to make food. How much to do? Rich ingredients, perfectly prepared. 25% chance of dropping valuable resources. 30% chance of six follower recovering from illness. And it gains faith. Really like that. Vomiting. Uh... a bunch of these all right now we need tons of wood oh what do you want excuse me leader some creatures are here seeking shelter with our cult but they are sick should we let them join yeah sick followers oh now we don't even have enough for beds now, you know what we don't have to indoctrinate them just yet and we got a new doctrine oh my so much so much going on something we definitely want to do Power up our crown. We're the best around. Alright, so work and worship. Possession. Eh, sustenance. Beast or fast. Perform a ritual at your temple to declare a fast. Followers will not eat or be hungry for three days. Alright. Unlock the feasting ritual. Throw a grand feast for your followers to refill their hunger and gain plus 25 fate. Ooh. Hmm. Hmm. I keep choosing the right ones, don't I? This one, if we've run out of resources, this one seems better. This one, yeah, it refills their hunger and we gain fate. But this one is if things are going poorly. I'll take this. And it takes 75 bones. Oh, and we lose faith. What? It did not mention that we would lose faith. Ugh. Well, that's... Well, I would not have done that.
going on here? Oh, oh no, I do not want to sacrifice somebody. Oops. Yeah, I don't remember it saying, yeah, perform a ritual. It doesn't say that it would cost faith. Well, I would not have done that. So for anybody watching, you know that that cost a whole bunch of faith. So it's crap. Oh my. All right, we need to do a run. Jeez, there's just so much to do. Here godly blood was spilled. Here did death no longer wish to wait. Yes, commit your souls for me. Render them asunder. Oh, it doesn't let me pick these ones up? Weak. Nura. Enemies have a chance to drop fish. Curses consume 25 or less fervor. Gain an extra half a heart. When hit down to all one heart, all enemies will be dealt 10 damage. Plus plus, that's okay, nuts. So we don't get any more turrets. And we don't get to choose between, not sure I like that, Bane Dagger, chance of poisoning enemies, super fast, an even better dagger than normal, a projectile that spreads black ichor on landing. Ooh, we got a shell, that's new. Entering the lands of the Bishop Hecate, those who do not follow the ways of the old faith will be destroyed. All right, new enemy types. Dumb of me. Yep, nothing from the mushrooms. I should probably figure out. These guys just move before just going toe to toe with them. Because yeah, I've taken what three hits just from being dumb. Nothing. What is to the right? Some sort of tree. Isn't there a place to sacrifice shells by the old man's house? I 
think there was. Actually, I've been getting hit left and right, haven't I? Guess it's a new zone, first time. And did we get like a diseased heart? Because if you look at our health bar now, there's like multiple heart types up there. Oh, all right. Falling rock just took care of our enemies for me. Harvest bonus resources. Ooh. Wait, so that means we can equip our people? Okay. Dude, look, yeah, look look at our health bar. There's like four different heart types. Ooh, the cat or food? Yeah, we're going to go with the cat. And uh, don't mess it up this time. All right, Ambrosia, increase curse da attack damage. There we lived three summer days. I could fill my heart with such delight. More than 50 common years. A blueprint, a follower form, or a commandment stone. Oh, these are... F you just get to choose one. Uh, the commandment stone's probably the best to take but I kind of want the blueprint you know that's just sad I got dirt I legit got dirt oh sadness overwhelming I will destroy everything you own because you legit gave me a blueprint for dirt ah <sighs> Fourteen devotion instead of seven. Ooh. Alright. Pathetic, sniveling, vile puppet to the red crown. You have felled the youngest of us. We are the bishops of the old faith. We protect against heresies such as yours. We are the guardians of the true word, and we shall not tolerate such blasphemy. Your sins are many, and for that your loyal followers must suffer. They shall starve. What? what where am I, leader? Oh. He ripped the food out of his belly. Huno is starving. Uh, does that mean I have to, like, get back quickly? Why do I feel like I'm on a, a clock now? starving. I really feel like I'm on a clock.
perfectly placed patterns. Yeah, that looked like the end. I don't know what I'm going for because we can't get any more turrets because of our fleece. Different weapon? Bane sword. Chance of poisoning enemies. Little more damage. Now I will stick with my beloved dagger. Gushian. Poison on him. Oop. Okay, this one's a little, little tricky. Ooh, not really a good opening. Super close. Oh, and if we would have gone down to one health, we would have got something. It would have done 20 damage. Moon necklace, pumpkin seeds, lumber. Uh, moon necklace. Dream of me. Follower will never sleep. Oh, wow. <laughs> so they go insane? Because in real life, you would go completely batshit insane. Oof. Nice. Got two necklaces. see me here in chains, reduced to nothing, but it has not always been thus. I was bound to this wretched place by the bishops of the old faith. They betrayed me and left me here to rot. Each of the four chains that bind me are guarded by one of the bishops. Destroy the bishop and you break the chain. Break all four and I will be freed. I give you life anew, Vessel, and now you must repay the debt. You know what must be done. To defeat the bishops, you will need to become stronger. Sacrifice a follower to absorb more power. This will aid you in your quest to free me. Oh, I don't want to sacrifice anybody. Sacrifice a flesh. Sacrifice a follower to grow your strength and unlock new abilities and weapons. Higher level followers will be more valuable when sacrificed. No. Uh, all right. Guess it is a cult of evil. I really didn't want to have to sacrifice anybody. stone mine definitely want to be able to generate basic resources refinery consecrate resources into higher tier resources 
healing bay. We need, kind of need that. Oh, and a janitor station. Oh, nice. Shrines, Shiva rituals, confession booth, propaganda. I like that. Yeah, one person's starving. Let's get some food going. Um, I really don't want to use that. Yeah, some people might vomit. Broken beds. Uh, Cause yeah, we got like three people to indoctrinate, I believe. That means we need three more beds. We need a bunch of food. Did they harvest this on their own at least? I don't think they do. I think I have to harvest it all still. should hopefully be enough. Wait, what? Where's the berry meal? Oh, it takes six. So that's two bushes to make one. All right. No, did it? St it's stealing food. Ugh, alright. Need to do a sermon. Yeah, it's a vampiric weapon. Always vampiric weapon. Again, I forgot to convert people before doing the sermon. Sacrifice of flesh. Uh, uh, I think it's a quest. I'm really supposed to do it. Mm, yep, you're a high level person. Eight, twelve, sixteen. Uh, I really don't want to. Oh, well, I hit the wrong button. Oh, okay. Well, hit the wrong button. I was going to accept the sick people first. Permanently gain half a heart. And then sacrifice one of the sickos. Follower meat? Oh. Okay. Please spare me. Alright, what do you got? Ignores dissenters when they preach. Okay. Heal slow. And they're all tatted up. Oh, you're terrible. Work and devotion generation are low. I lose 10 faith just for recruiting them. Ugh. You just 
bad. <sighs> Man, you look good. Level up easy, heal quicker, generate more devotion. Yeah, so you are gonna be on worship. Uh, rest until you're no longer sick. Rest until you're no longer sick, but you probably need beds. You got a quest. Thank you, leader. My faith in you was justified. Oh, for sacrificing somebody. Okay, so we need more bed. Actually, we should probably knock this out first. Yeah, because we don't have any trees. So, we definitely need that first. I got other stuff to do while they rest. And I need two more beds. And I've got enough wood for two more beds. Oh, there's filth everywhere. Oh, I can't repair. Oh, crap. Oh, my. All right. Well, um, we are already going a little over our time today. So I think I'm going to go ahead and harvest everything, get everything replanted uh, off screen. And so next time we come back, no, oh, got a mission. Benevolent leader, please don't judge me, but I've always wanted to eat a meal made of poop. I, I, I don't even know anymore. Will you help me satisfy this dark desire? You're a sick, sick. So I guess next time we get to come back to to that. Hooray! Right. <laughs> I right, still, I think this game is fantastic. Um, you all have a good day, and I hope to see you for the next episode, which will be coming out probably pretty soon. So, <laughs> you all have a good one. Hey, everybody, thanks for watching. But it looks like it's that time again, and that means it's time for me to go.